and welcome to my youtube channel oh my goodness it's been forever it's literally been forever since the last time that i said that but hey your girl is back <laughs> i feel like it wasn't too long ago when i was saying that and i was like i'm back and i'm better and i'm gonna be giving you guys content and then i did for a little while and then life happened and then i stopped again <laughs> But listen, we're going to catch up. I'm going to spill all the tea. I'm going to tell you everything that's been going on in my life in the upcoming videos. Um, you're going to hear all about it. Okay. Um, if this is your first time on this channel, hello, hi. My name is Trezor and I'm so excited that you stopped by. If you are a returning subscriber, you know what I say. You know what I say. <laughs> it hasn't changed in 2023. We're still saying the same thing. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around, especially with my inconsistent ways. You know, like, sure, many would have walked away. People walk away from these kind of relationships. It's like, nah, I ain't doing that. It's toxic. She's here and then she's gone and then she's here and then she's gone. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to be here. Y'all need to pray for me to have like a consistent set up you know filming set that's normally what the issue is but we're not getting into that in this video as you can see from the title i thought oh my goodness we need to pray into 2023 okay i'd like to sit down and just pray with you because yeah man we gotta start the new year on the right track now i know you might be thinking sis aren't you a little too late for that this is february the year like we're already second month into the year listen 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 <laughs> I've heard a couple of people who say that um, January is just like the preamble to the new year. January, we just, we're reflecting on the previous year. We are planning for the new year. And then the new year actually starts in February. So let's pretend, let you and I, come on, for a moment, let's just pretend that we agree <laughs> with that line of thought. Um, and yeah, like it might be February, but still, I think it's still a good place to start, you know, where we just really take some time to pray. So we're going to start and on Proverbs 16 verse 3 and if this is a video that sounds interesting to you you definitely want to stick around why why am I doing this um I just think it's important you know for us to really just take time to just commit our year our plans to God and you're going to see from the scripture that I'm about to read how important it is now a little while ago i was watching this video uh from y'all's channel if y'all don't know y'all's channel listen another thing that i do on this channel is i plug you if you're an og subscriber you know that i love plugging you guys so go and check out y'all's channel i'll probably like leave something of her channel either in the description box down below or somewhere on the screen or something like that um but she's she's amazing i love what she does and she was basically saying in one of her videos that she put out at the beginning of this year that a lot of times we say from our mouths, from our mouths to God's, God's ears. And she said, how about this year in 2023, we should say from God's mouth to our ears. Yeah, we always hear people saying from my mouth to God's ears. Let's switch it up this year. How about from God's mouth to our ears that it becomes heaven down goals rather than earth up goals and i thought wow man that is so profound and it just speaks about being led by god it speaks about being directed by god it speaks about really allowing him to take center stage and him to take the leading role um and I don't know about you, you probably already started your year with like maybe 21 days of prayer and fasting. I know a lot of people do that at the beginning of the year. Or maybe you sat down and you did a vision board. Or maybe even as the year 2022 is coming to an end, you are already thinking, okay, 2023 is coming. This, these are my goals. This is what I want to achieve in the new year. It might be a new body. It might be you want to buy yourself a car. You might want to get yourself a home. I don't know what your plans are. Maybe you're in school. You're trying to finish your degree this year. We've got many plans. Um, and the Bible tells us something really beautiful in Proverbs 16 verse 3. Let me read it for you. And I'm going to read it in a couple of versions because there's some versions that just really put it so beautifully. And I thought, let me share this um, to just get us into the right space uh, as we're going to pray. Because this is a scripture that we're really just going to stand on and say, God, in 2023, we want to commit our plans to you. Okay. So Proverbs 16 verse 3. It says, let's find it. Um, yeah. So the NIV says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. Now, I really, really, really love the message version, which says, put God in charge of your work. Then what you've planned will take place. It says, put God in charge of your work. 
then what you've planned will take place. In other words, um, if we are not putting God at the center, if we're not putting God at the beginning, rather, if we're not putting God first, if we're not committing our plans to him, then they will not be successful. If we're looking for the key to success in this new year, as we're trying to achieve everything, we've got to put God first. We've got to commit our plans to God. The Bible tells us in Matthew, Matthew 6, 33, that we are to seek first the kingdom of God. So as we're committing our plans to God, I want you just to begin to start to think, okay, what are some of the things that I had in mind for my new year? What are some of the things that I really want to accomplish in this year? And maybe for you, you're watching this video and you haven't even figured it out. That's okay, honey. This is the perfect place to start. You know, maybe this is the video that will encourage you and motivate you to start thinking about, okay, what do I really want for 2023? What do I want it to look like? you know so as we're as we're going to be praying as we're going to be talking a little bit more about the verse i want you really just to just to press into that and say god what are my plans really what have i put down on paper and if you have not committed those things to god already then this is the perfect place to just be like okay god you know what i had planned i had put down things but i don't want them to be amiss in 2023 we don't want to have goals that are not achieved in 2023 we do not want to be not successful we want to be successful we want to achieve our goals and you know what god wants it for you too but there's a key there's a formula you've got to put him first you've got to put him in charge of your work and then what you've planned it's gonna happen i'm gonna read one one or two more versions for you and then we're gonna we're gonna do the things we're gonna get into the throne room of god because that's where things happen okay um the amplified version says commit your works to the lord submit and trust them to him and your plans will succeed and then it says if you respond to his will and guidance. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. That, that, <laughs> that just takes it to a whole other level. It says, if you respond to his will and guidance, which is such an important key, you see? It's not just about, oh, I did this prayer with Trezor in the beginning of the year. You know, we com I committed my plans to God and then I left it there. The amplified version really amplifies it for us, you know. It makes us understand that the key is in responding to his will. It's in responding to his guidance. So as we're committing our year to God, as we're committing our plans to God, he's going to be guiding us. God has an ultimate will for our lives and we need to be aligned to him um, for us to know that will, for us to discover that will. We discover his will for us as we're studying the word, as we are praying, as we are in fellowship with other believers that can begin to speak into our lives about the will of God for our lives. So all of these things are so important as we're committing our plans to God, because I think a lot of times we think, okay, boom, I did this 21 days of prayer and fasting. I committed my year to God, or I committed my plans to God. And then we leave it there. Um, and then the rest of the year rolls out. And then it's like, we are trying to, you know, like go roll through the year from what we did in January, but that's not how it works. It's a continual thing. So I don't want you to look at this and just be like, okay, we did this prayer with Trey. And that's it. You know, I've committed my plans to God and it's cool. I'm bouncing, you know, but I want you to see it as a continual thing. Committing your plans to God is a continual thing. It's a day by day thing. Um, use this as just a template, if I can say. We're using this one video and we're saying, OK, God, we're committing our year to you. But make it a daily thing. Commit your day to God on a daily basis. Commit your plans to God on a daily basis. Say, God, today. For me, this is like very early in the morning and I'm about to get into a car and drive <laughs> about four hours and then I need to be in wor at work. Um, so I've got to commit all of that to God and be like, God, yay, help your girl, you know, um, help me. These are the things that I need to accomplish today. And I want to commit these things to you because I realize that in doing that, I'm going to be successful. I realize that in doing that I'm, is when I'm going to be able to achieve these things. Finally, finally. The CEV says, share your plans with the Lord and you will succeed. And I thought that that was beautiful because it gives me the sense or the understanding um, that God wants to be let in to my plans. You know, yes, he's God. He knows everything, but he's a relational God. So he wants you and I to sit down and talk about things. So it says, share your plans with the Lord. I want you to just think about that for a little bit, because like I said, maybe you've already done your vision board for 2023. Maybe you've already mapped out what you want the year to look like. 
But for a moment, you know, go back to those things and say, God, I want to share my plans with you. That means sharing your heart. It speaks about intimacy. It speaks about vulnerability. It speaks about opening up to God and letting him in to what's going on in your world because he wants that. He wants you and him to have fellowship. So I want us just, wherever you are, um, you might be sitting. I just saw another version that I want to share with you. (laughs) Um, You might be sitting in your car, you might be sitting in your office, you might be just, you know, chilling in your room or whatever. But um, before we pray, I want you just to to take a moment, pause the video if you can. Think through, okay, what are the things that I want to achieve in this new year? Or maybe, like I said, maybe you haven't thought about it. Pause the video, take a moment, think about it. What do I want to achieve in 2023? What are some of the plans, whether they are major or minor? Uh, Just just think through, you know, what do I want 2023 to look like? And then once you've done that, come back, repress play, and, and then let's pray about it. Let's talk to God about it. Let's share our plans with him and say, God, I'm really just setting my heart in a posture where I'm committing all of that before you. So the final version that I said, I said that last time, I said final, but you know how we be. <laughs> you know how we be. The word of God is just like that. It's exciting. So sometimes you think. That was the last one, but I promise, I think this is going to be the last one, okay? The TPT says, before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not in yourself. Then every plan you make will succeed. And I love that. The reason why I thought it was important to share that with you before we get into the prayer is because it says, put your trust in God and not in yourself. You see, a lot of times that's also what we do is, okay, we put these plans there and then we think, hey, I'm a baddie, you know, I'm just going to do what I got to do on my own. But the truth is we are nothing without God. Let that sink in for a minute. We are nothing without God, you know. Put your trust in him. Don't be like, okay, I prayed, but then now I've got to figure this thing out for myself. I've got to figure out how I'm going to get money on my own. Realize that ultimately... As I am trusting him, as I'm committing to him, what I'm saying is, God, I realize that your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Your ways are higher than my ways. And I realize that your wisdom far exceeds my own humanly wisdom. And so that's why I want to entrust my plans to you. That's why I want you to to just come in and shine your lights and just guide me and lead me. So let's let us pray, shall we? I'm just going to turn off this alarm because it's going to be ringing while we're praying, so... Let me turn it off. Okay. (laughs) Daddy, thank you so, so much for 2023. Um, Thank you for 2022, first of all. Thank you for taking us through it. We made it through that year by your grace, and we're in this new year by your grace. And so I say thank you. I say thank you for each and every person that is watching this video today. They might not even be watching it in February. They might be watching it months later, God, and even might be in the middle of the year when they watch this video. But still, at that point, I believe it will not be too late to commit their plans to you. Um, God, this morning, this evening, whatever time, whoever's watching this video is going to be watching it, God, uh, we just really want to entrust our hearts to you. We want to entrust our plans to you. Thank you that you're such a good God that you allow us to even plan. You know, you're the one that gives us breath. You're the one that gives us life. And yet you give us free will to choose what we want to do. And you you give, give us free reign to a certain extent to see within your sovereignty. You allow us to to create our world to a certain extent, if I can say that. Um, And thank you for that. What an amazing privilege it is to just be able to sit and plan our year um, and plan our days and, and say to you, God, these are the things that are on my heart. Lord, it's my prayer this morning that you would align our desires to your will. Yes, Lord, may it truly be a year where we hear from you. May it truly be a year where we're led by you, where our plans and our thoughts are accomplished by your strength and by your power and not by our own. God, we submit and surrender to you. Yes, maybe in 2022, we did everything on our own. Maybe for the greater part of 2022, we trusted in our own ability. Lord, your word tells us not to trust in our own strength. We are to trust in you because you are good <laughs> and, and, and you've got great plans for us, Lord. And, and, and ultimately, your wisdom is far greater than our own. So this morning, I just pray with my brother, my sister, whoever is connecting with me uh, through this video, Lord, I pray that Um, you would help them to entrust their plans to you. Sometimes, God, maybe we don't trust you because we've been disappointed in the past. Maybe we don't trust you because we just don't know how to do it. Maybe we've just grown up with just 
independence. We, we didn't have people who fought for us. We didn't have people who allowed us um, to, to, to have other people taking care of us. And so we, we struggled to trust you. God, I pray that in 2023, may you teach us to trust you. Teach us to trust you, God. Teach us to surrender and submit our plans to you because your word tells us that that is when we will be successful. So I pray for each person watching this video with the many different plans that they might have for their year, God. I pray that they would realize that the key is in seeking you. The key is in trusting you. And God, I commit all our plans to you. It might be plans to buy a house. It might be plans to buy a car. It might be plans to, I don't know, get married. Maybe somebody's believing you for marriage this year. I pray, Lord, may you hear the desires of their heart. Align them, oh God, to the desires and the will, the perfect will that you have for their lives, Lord, and make their plans successful. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to just pray uh, into 2023. God, we commit our plans to you. We commit our hearts to you. Um, I, I take it as a principle that we are to seek first your kingdom and then everything else that we need will be added unto us. God, may this be what we live by in 2023. May we live as people uh, who are first and foremost dedicated to you, dedicated to relationship with you, dedicated to seeking you, God. And even all these other things that we want to do and we want to achieve, God, may they all be for the glory of your name. May they all lead back. Back, um, to you. May they all point back to your glory. Uh, may it not just be that, oh yeah, I was successful. I made this amount of money or I traveled to this country or I managed to, to do this, that, and the other. Ultimately, God, may everything that we do, may the motives of our hearts be pure. And if they're not, God, purify them. Purify the motives of our hearts so that they can bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I love that the guy behind the camera was also praying. That's cool. <laughs> That's so cool because it's easy to just, you know, do the filming stuff. But yeah, guys, oh, prayer is such a beautiful thing, you know? Prayer is such a beautiful thing. And a lot of times I think we don't realize how beautiful, how powerful it is because it's not a tangible thing, you know? And you may not see the results today, tomorrow, but believe you, me, your prayer is working something. Yeah. Things are happening as you're praying. So I encourage you in 2023, make it a year filled with prayer. Okay, listen, this year I am I am praying. I am saying, you know what, God, in everything, I want to involve you in everything. Like the, we just read in the scriptures that we are to put him before everything, that we are to put him in charge of our work. So whether it's your YouTube, it's my YouTube channel, whether it's my work, whether like my actual work, whether it's whatever i'm doing i'm just i am just committing it to god because i've realized you know what that is the best thing that i can do and i pray that you realize that too in 2023 listen i love you i appreciate you thank you so much for watching this video um share it with a friend you know what share it with a friend because they we we just need to we need to spread more prayer on these internet streets okay <laughs> Um, like I said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment in the section down below. Let me know what you loved about this video. Let me know if you already knew about the scripture. Let me know what scripture you're standing on in 2023, okay? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to do the things that we always tell you to do as YouTubers. Like this video. Yes, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Um, turn on your notification bells. Share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that this is where it's happening. All right. Bye and God bless you.